Welcome back to Marnie's Marketing Monday. Today we're going to be talking about Pinterest and over the next few weeks, excluding next week, which I'm taking off for my honeymoon. Yay. Uh, after that, we're, uh, we're going to be working a little bit on Pinterest. I'm, um, one of my clients asked me to dig into Pinterest and, and got me a course on Pinterest. And I thought, okay, all right, I'll do this. So uh, without trying to steal the woman's information at all, I thought I'd just kind of share some of the highlights of things that I'm learning with you. Um, if you are interested in what she's doing, I'm not an affiliate or anything for it. It's uh, Carly Campbell. Pinterest strategies from zero to 200 K page of views with manual pinning is kind of what I'm working through. And, um, I learned that, uh, some important things about Pinterest that I didn't really realize. And I'm going to show you some of that today. And, uh, I've been kind of working on my own Pinterest board and implementing some of her stuff. I can't say whether it works yet or not, but you know, I think it's all sound advice. It seems to be pretty sound and uh, just some things to be aware of with Pinterest. So um, let me go to share screen. Okay. So um, one of the first things that you want to do, and I never really understood why you would want a personal Pinterest versus a business Pinterest. And the main reason is, seems to be the statistics that you get. You can have more statistics, you can verify your website through there, and then it's going to start to, um, it just gives you lots of extra goodies to be able to tell which pins are doing well, you know, and which ones aren't. Because otherwise, you know, you're just kind of throwing stuff up there and you're hoping you're going to get something, but you can't really tell. So the first thing that you want to do is to make sure that you're using a business account. And if you've already got a Pinterest account set up and you have, I'd say most of you probably haven't done much with it. Has anybody done a lot with your Pinterest account? Do you have one? I mean, maybe just. I have one, but I don't use it much. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. So if you've got one, you hadn't used it much, just convert it over. And this URL right here, the pinterest.com slash business slash convert will convert it over. Um, if you haven't got one, you can use create. If, if somebody's watching this who has just tons of done a lot of Pinterest stuff and they have a lot of stuff out there and there's some boards that are maybe completely irrelevant that you would really wouldn't want to associate with your business, you could either create a new account or you can turn them to secret. If you make them secret, then they're not showing out there. They don't count against you as like dud boards, and, um, but you can still get at them if you want. I'm not understanding that part. What? Why would you want a secret? Um, um, if you've got if some, you've boards, some boards, let's see. I've got a. See, I've got a I'm going to mute you, Carolyn, mute. for a second because I'm getting hearing myself back in my ear. So if um, if you Pinterest seems to look at your account overall to see how engaged is it, you know, just like Facebook does, right? It looks and see, are people looking at this stuff or whatever? And if they see some boards over there that are just, they're not doing anything, they're not that engaging, they're going to gra drag down your score for one thing. And then if they're um, totally unrelated to anything you're doing and you just don't want, I mean, you're going to use this for your business and you've got, you know, a board that you created of clothes that you like, and that doesn't relate anything to your business in some way. Well, you can turn it to secret. So let me show you, I'll show you how to do that. Let me go back to the main thing on Pinterest. And most of the stuff's easier to do from a computer than the phone. I mean, once you start pinning and stuff, you can do with the phone, but. Okay, so you can tell I'm on a cat kick. Pinterest is showing me tons of cat pictures lately. So <laughs> um, let me see. So I was going to show you how to hide a board. So if you go over here, let me move these pictures of y'all out of the way. Oh, where did my boards go?
I just upgraded mine to a business board, so things are a little bit different spot than I'm used to. Okay, so here's the boards. Um, let's say that I have a board that doesn't really relate. I don't know. Like this one is, we're not going to do anything with it. Well, I don't have, think I have a way to hide it, though, come to think of it. I think Sue set it up, so I can't do that. It's a group board. Um, you can't do it with boards you didn't initiate. You can only do it. Well, let's say this, here's type two, three clothing. All right, so maybe that doesn't really relate to my niche. So I can hit the edit, the hand, the little pencil lets you edit it. Come on. <laughs> uh, well. Okay, there we go. Uh, see where it says secret, learn more. If you want to learn more about it, it's just, it'll tell you about the secret boards. But basically, they're you're just going to be the only one that sees them. They're not going to show out on your profile to other people. So if I want to make that one secret, I would just do that and save it. So now it's, um, it puts it down at the bottom of my boards, down in the bottom where it says, uh, secret boards so that only I can see or maybe I can invite specific people to see. So I took some of the ones that didn't really fit with what I was doing and I wasn't keeping up with them and I just made them secret so they wouldn't throw my, you know, my numbers off or anything like that. Okay. So you said you upgraded or something to a business account. How uh, did that work? Um, yeah, this, this URL here, if, If you go to that, if you already have a board, you can convert it or you can just start a new board. I mean, not a board, account, an account, excuse me. So mine is already upgraded, so it's not gonna do it. But if, if it wasn't upgraded, it, a little box would come up and say, do you wanna upgrade to a business account? So the business account gives you statistics. It helps you see which pins are getting how much traffic and all this other stuff. Now, I just barely did it, so I can't get I can't show you anything too much about it, um, the stats, because I just did it. But the, see how these boards now have a little graph right there? And it's telling me i got to wait 36 hours. So I, it's got to run some analytics. But it's going to give me analytics on these boards, how many close-ups, how many clicks, how many saves, and total engagement. It's going to give me that once it's got some time to figure that out. So there's not a fee for the for the no, business account? No fee for it. Yeah, it's free. I bet eventually there will be a fee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, or it'll become like Facebook where you got to pay to boost your stuff or something because they do have a boost option. Okay, so the other thing that um, you want to do is get some keywords into your bio. Now, if, you, if you've used Pinterest, you know that we hardly ever click all the way through to somebody's profile or anything. I mean, I, I hardly ever do it. I'm just looking at a board and I don't care what else that, but in case they do, and also so Pinterest knows what you're about, you want to use keywords in your bio. So the way you figure out the keywords, you don't just guess them. So here's an example of what I did with let me close that up. That's the wrong thing. Um, I went in and just started typing. I thought, okay, well, I do marketing, right? So I want to see, I don't know why I keep wanting to, ah, not mini horse. <laughs> wow, it's got a mind of its own today. I wasn't doing that to me earlier. Let me try going into something and get it to stop that marketing okay so there we go so if I put marketing these are things that people have searched for on Pinterest so notice it's not that many and you want to pick something that fits and that you think people would you know if you use it it makes sense you might be able to figure it out how to use it in a profile or something uh, another thing that I 
I had was books, so I put book, and you uh, you could do it that way. But I went more specific. I put romance because I write romance novels. So romance books was one. Um, and you would, if you do this research, I'd keep it in a document because you can use it for your boards later. So jot down, even though they may not be ones that you are going to put in your profile because you only got an itty bit of space in the profile, but you might be doing this research and realize, hey, I'm going to probably do some boards or posts about that later. So just keep you a list. So I went and did that through for here's some of the ones I came up with were like marketing ideas, marketing ideas, creative business, Facebook selling tips, Facebook selling. So all of that stuff for my business. And then I had self-help books, self-help books for women. I never would have thought of that, but that was something somebody should search for. I put in the term grief and came up with these cause I'm, I'm doing it for my blog. What I, my objective, just so you know where I'm trying to go with it is um, this lady makes her money off of, blogging so ad revenue and affiliate programs and stuff like that and so I'm trying to figure out how I could just write my blog and make money off affiliate stuff and ad revenue okay and we'll see how much traffic that's my quest for this so I'm gonna share it with you as I go and we'll just see where it goes it may be a complete dud but I want to see if I can just write for a living okay because that's really what I want to do. So I have blog posts about grief. So I put in grief and it came out with grief and loss and grief support. Um, I and some of my clients do law of attraction stuff. So I, I put that in romance books. There's the divorce blog post that I have death because I have about my mom dying and stuff and then making money online and stuff like that. So I just grabbed some of these typical things that I write about. And this is by no means an exhaustive search of keywords, but this is just what I grabbed this morning. So you could do something like that, create you a list of keywords. And then I went back and I made my bio include some of those words. So let me go back. And like I say, you only get a little bit of space. So it's under settings is where you can control your bio. Okay. So I used bestseller was a keyword that people had typed in. Self-help books was one. Romance books was. Law of Attraction and Love was another one because I'm kind of blogging my saga there. And then assist authors with marketing ideas business even though that doesn't sound real great it was a phrase that they put in there that I thought fit my stuff and then business I mean Facebook advertising so um, that's how I did mine and I, I know I've got multiple niches and the lady uh, that I, I'm I, Dawn I was telling them I'm kind of going through this course that one of my clients is wanting to really dive deep into Pinterest and she's like if I get this will you study it and do it for me <laughs> so I'm kind of multitasking here and sharing some of the stuff that I've learned from that but it's um, this is what it is it's Carly Campbell's Pinterest strategies I'm not an affiliate for it so I haven't figured, I haven't gone to do that yet but from zero to 200k page views with manual pinning she does she doesn't use those auto post things it's all manual so, Marty, I have a question for you. Yeah. When you did, when you switched over and upgraded to your business account, uh -huh. what did you use for your business name? Did you? I just used Marnie because Dave has been telling me, you need to be like Prince and just be Marnie. <laughs> so I used just, um, yeah, here it is. But I mean, you would, you could do tax lien lady or something like that would be your. Yeah, that's what you know. I think. I was wondering what to, whether I should use my business name, which is tax lien consulting LLC, but then nobody will know that it's tax lien lady. So I think I should just use tax lien lady. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I mean, my business is CES business consultant. Right. You know right. Yes. Yeah, so you don't so. want to use that. No, I didn't want to do it. So I just did Marnie. Okay. That way I can do whatever I want on it. And uh, anyway, this, this gal was saying, she doesn't think you need to micro niche as much as that you can be broader with it. 
then um, then it doesn't have to be as micro niche as what some of the niching we do when we're niching down to a product that we're creating when I've taught you to do that kind of thing you can go broader so that's why I'm not worrying too much that my stuff tends to run a spectrum of subjects but I don't know is everything I see everything of mine is has to do with books and writing and publishing and whether I'm teaching it or doing it or whatever so that's kind of where I'm going with it and cats and cats I love it <laughs> Dave hates cats. So this is my substitute for owning a cat. I'm, I've started my own Pinterest cat board. So, <laughs> anyway. oh, all right. Let me go back um, to my outline here. Okay. So uh, another thing that you can do from your, your account profile besides writing it with those things is um, you want to claim your website. So let me show you how to do that. I may have the wrong window. These photos keep getting in the way on me. Marnie, while you're done, I got another question about switching over to the business. Yeah. You have to pick what kind of business it was. So what did you do? Just say brand or um, I did professional professional okay yeah because when they set it up they give you a little bit more description and under professional was like bloggers and stuff like that you know so that's why I did it um, okay public figure was more like actors and musicians and you know stuff like that with yours it's probably professional I'd say professional so yeah. what would you do with with a speaker author coach hmm. you could, uh, yeah it's probably professional a professional or if you're gonna be huge then like a public figure would work oh okay I'll just claim that why not <laughs> claim, just it. Pretend it. <laughs> claim it yeah okay I just, yeah I, I do so much stuff that's more professional type stuff that I figured that would be better for me all right so down here th mine's already been claimed but this would say claim website and you claim the site and if you've got a web person you probably want them to do this for you instead of figuring it out yourself but when you claim it they give you some code and you either can paste that code somewhere into your website but since I'm using a WordPress site I didn't want to do that the other option is to download an HTML file and upload it to the root directory of your website so you need something like FileZilla or something like that to go into your public directory or you could go into your control panel under the file manager if you've got a control panel on your website. Uh, it's not through WordPress. You got to go in to the actual site itself and to the, upload, to the C panel, the C panel and the file manager and send that HTML file up to the root directory, which is usually called public underscore HTML. So like with FileZilla, let me just show you FileZilla, I like it, but you have to know your, your login for that. Yeah, I like FileZilla. I use FileZilla to do that. Right. So here was the Pinterest file over here that they gave me to download. And then you just go to site manager and find the URL. I've already got my start over here site there, but you could pick it off of whatever domains you got. So over here, you need to go under public HTML and then you just take that and, you know, drag it over here. It doesn't have to go into any particular folder inside of that. No, you want it to be in the root directory so just the plain public HTML directory is where it's going to look for it and then once you do that it'll it'll say it'll have a little button it's kind of waiting for you to do it and then it'll say we'll we'll verify it you know and then you click the button and it says it could take so much time or whatever they'll give you so much time to get it on there or something but I just went ahead and did it hit the button and it seems to have claimed my website already now can you claim more than one website it doesn't look like you can okay so you got to pick the one that you want yeah 
Yeah, okay. Yeah, that was my hardest decision. And I yeah. May, <laughs> I may have picked the wrong one, but I figure I'm going to blog over here, and it's my experiment in blogging, so I'll just do that. Yeah, so if you have a website and a blog, and the blog is in the, like, I, I have my, my website, which is the HTML site, and then I do have, um, actually, it has a WordPress part of it, too. But I do have a separate WordPress site that's my blog, but I have that, there is a link to that in the menu of my main site. So would I just put my main site over there? Or would I want my blog? Would I want my blog? Are you mainly going to be pinning from the blog than your main site? Probably are, aren't you? Yeah, probably. Probably. I think I'd use the blog. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because that's where most of your pins are going to lead to, most likely. Okay. Yeah. Um, you can control whether you get notifications and stuff, and you can hook it up to your other social media. So mine's connect to Facebook, and I connected it to my Twitter. If you'll just log into your Twitter in another tab and then hit connect, a little, you know, have you had that thing where it pops up and it'll ask you to authorize Twitter to access or Pinterest access Twitter. So uh, you just say, yeah, and that's it. I didn't bother linking all this other stuff. That's pretty much all I did there. It's just the basics. So, so even though you had another name and David said, you know, be Prince. So, <laughs> Yeah. So you you can change your your public name or whatever your your brand is. Yeah, let me change the name of it, and I think I can change even where it's got Marnie Pearson down here on that. Although I bet you money, Marnie is just if I just did Marnie, it would probably be taken. Shall I try it? Yeah, try it. Sure. Doesn't hurt to ask. <laughs> Oops, already taken. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so we'll just cancel that. Um, okay. So by claiming the website, they tell you they give you website analytics. Um, a featured logo gets added to your profile pictures to all your pins from your site. And then you get early access to tools and special special features and stuff. Hey Marnie. Uh-huh. When I'm upgrading to the free business account, it asks me right there for the we website it's optional to put that in. So do I give it my website here or the blog if I'm going to connect to the blog later or doesn't I mean I don't even have to put anything in there. I would just go in with the blog there. It's not going to okay. claim it. It's not going to officially claim it at this point. But Right, right. Yeah, I would just do the blog. Or wherever you want them to go for that matter right now, I guess, if you're not going to Yeah, probably right. the blog because I don't have much on the main page of my website. It really doesn't change that often. Whereas the blog, I'm always, you know, I'm posting there more regularly. Yeah. Marnie, why did you want to put that in the root directory and not do it the other way? Because Pinterest insists that it be put there. That's their oh. rule. Okay, I thought you had two options and you just nope. chose that one. Oh, the other one is to put a, something inside of your HTML code, which is really complicated in WordPress. I wasn't going to get into the code of WordPress and do it. So, I mean, okay. there may be a plugin for it, but. And probably if WordPress is updated, it would probably write over it. It might. I mean, there's probably a plug-in that will put Pinterest code, you know, verification on your website. You could, if you don't want to upload a file, you could probably go into the plugins and search for Pinterest verification or something. It's kind of the same thing as putting the pixels on the, for Facebook so they talk right. to each other, right? Kind of sort of the same thing? Yeah, that kind of thing. Yeah. I just didn't feel like kind of plug in. I just thought, well, I know how to just send the file up. I'll just send the file up. So, um, 
Okay, so another thing that you want to keep in mind with Pinterest is that it's a hybrid between a search engine and this human thing. You know, there's people looking at these pictures. So you don't want to just keyword stuff everything or make it all keywordy, but you do need keywords. And that same way I showed you to search for keywords at the beginning, you're going to use for your pins. And you'll use that in your descriptions of your pins. And, you know, of course, it's a social media platform. There's people sharing this. There's people uh, liking your pins, things like that. So the thing about it is, is that, I, and this is what I didn't realize, is that Pinterest sees the images that you're using. Somehow it sees them. And it may or may not interpret them the way you want them to t interpret them. So if you use a metaphor in your image that doesn't really relate to the subject of your pen, it could confuse Pinterest. Okay, so let me show you. I, I noticed this with one of my clients, and it's a really good example. Okay. So here's a, a pen that I made for him. It's in that standard 700 by 1200 size, 720 by 1200. I'll give you the dimensions in a minute. Okay, so what they say to do is to pull up one of your pens and then look down there and what else is it recommending? Because that's telling you how well Pinterest is really judging the content of this pen. So this one's talking about, you know, life is sweet and not giving up and I mean this is a motivational sort of thing so okay yeah that's fine all right kind of okay here's here's one that again is a self-help but what I want you to notice is this is sand and I, it shows me different images than I looked at earlier today but here's something with see it's a beach okay it sees that there's sand in this picture. Hmm. And so it's starting to pull pins that have sand in them. And like earlier, it showed um, me a pin that had absolutely nothing to do with the topic. Get a tan with coffee and cream. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There was one of those like that, except for it had a beach behind it. And the woman had her toes in some sand earlier. Um, so some of these are not really matching up exactly the way you want them to it's not it's not showing me just the glaring examples like it did earlier when I was looking at it but these could be ads I don't know interspersed but I don't it know. really but, feels like it but it's a woman in a bikini see and it's a beach you know so now you've passed that on the left side. You just passed us. the secret booking to swanky hotels came up twice there on the left. That's why I was wondering if it, it oh, might be. A, yeah. And there's somebody on a beach too, but it, if could it might be. be a, hey. Yeah, it could be promoted. There you go. Promoted. Yeah. That's promoted, promoted. So these ones that don't really fit, they're promoted. So I'm curious how much does a Pinterest ad cost? I know it's probably like Facebook. Who knows? <laughs> it's probably a bidding type system on that, but I don't. Uh, you can choose, once you have a business account, you can choose to promote. I notice I have that option now. But um, anyway, you might want to look. Um, and I can show you that what how I've done them wrong in the past and because <laughs> I didn't really realize a lot of this stuff with it I just thought oh it's pictures just pin the picture <laughs> didn't really think about it um, let's see if we can look at some of the others I don't like where I have to go back to the boards this way I, Seems like I had an easier way to get to my boards before. I don't think this is my board, though. Come to think of it. So, okay, this is a group board. This is a good way to notice. This is something else you need to realize. There are group boards and there are your own boards. 
So like this one, see how it's got a z image there that's a circle with people inside of it? That means there's contributors. And I've been invited to contribute to that board and I can do that. And if you've got group boards that you're part of that are active and, and uh, really doing well, you can share from your boards, repin them over into these public boards and give them a little bit more juice. So uh, the concept behind it is once you have stats and you can see which boards are doing, I'm mean, not board, the pins are doing the best. Sorry, I'm using different terms. I'm not doing this right. If you see a pin that's doing really well, then you are, you want to reshare it. And, and if there's one, if you've got a choice of sharing the original pin or one that has been shared to somewhere else, share the one that's already been shared. There's like some kind of leverageability if it's getting shared multiple times. So share the version that's already been shared over your original version, where I would have thought, well, I want to share my original one, but you don't do that. You, you find them where uh, they're getting some engagement and it's one somebody else has already shared or you've shared it a second time or something like that. But I'll get into more of that another, I'm kind of getting my head of myself. I wasn't going to get into all that today. But um, you're doing perfectly. Okay. Now here's one, a board that I set up a while back and it was just called Life. And when I went up here, I put in Life and Life Hacks was the first one that came up. So I thought, well, really all of this stuff is life hacks that I've got in here. So I, I've been going through this board and editing them and putting life hacks. And then I'm finding terms in the search phrases that are popular. Perfectionism, overcoming was something, uh, it seems backwards, but that's the way that was worded in the search thing. Perfectionist humor. Um, so I've, I've edited these. Now like this one right here, these horizontal ones, I shouldn't be doing them horizontal at all. I should be doing these long ones. You want to do the ones that are more this vertical format, like that one and this one and that one. You don't want to, sh you always, when you create a blog post, you don't, you want, you'll end up needing the horizontal for Facebook, but you want to make another one that goes up and down. So do you share to Pinterest? Do you make them using PowerPoint? I use Canva because Canva just it's um. Let me see. With Canva, they've got a set one right there, and you just do that. And they've even got some templates over here that you can choose from. You know, and quickly create one. You just click the one you want. Or you can start from scratch, either way. And you just replace the images with your stuff. So that's where I do it. And Mar Marnie, do you have a program to do this for us? <laughs> <laughs> Working on it. Wait, wait till uh, like maybe a couple weeks and I'll, I'll have it mastered to do it for you. <laughs> Um, yeah, that's, it, it is something I'm thinking of adding. If it works really well, I think uh, that would be definitely a cool thing. To so the, the, the class that you're taking, uh -huh. she says from zero to 200,000 saves or shares. What was it? Her? Yeah, let me find that. 200 page views, 200K page, page views with, an, with manual pinning. Yeah, and she's talking about a month. She's talking about getting your page views up to that a month with manual pinning. So, not an overall. I'd like to try it just because I I don't think Facebook is working very well. I'm getting a lot of likes and activity, but no no sales from Facebook or not as many as I'd like. And I I really think that my audience is probably hanging out at LinkedIn. So I'd well, like to look be. into that like to look into there, but um, I'm willing to try, give this a try. Yeah, I don't, let's, let's one of the things we'd want to do is tax lien and just see tax lien investing, investing tips. Okay, so people are searching for it. Yeah. 
And I know I do. I haven't been paying much attention to it, but I do. I know I do get pins and repins. I just there, there's the tax lane lady. Who's that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There you are. You I come just, up top. Yeah. That's good. Well, I just cha- I just did that because I went from. <laughs> I went. I just did that upgrade thing to the. Although I think I was in there as. I think I was. I don't know if I was in there under my name, but I know my it was under um, Pinterest.com forward slash tax lien lady. Yeah, that's what I was under tax lien lady. Cool. So, I mean, I probably could go to something like that that used a keyword that was more applicable than my name. It might help. You see what I'm saying? Because you show up as tax lien lady as the, the ID you've chosen, your user mm-hmm. ID. And that's probably playing into why you're coming up so high. Where Marnie, is that really going to get me anywhere? I don't know. Maybe I need Oh, well, you know, Prince. Where did Prince start? I'm just, that's true. That's true. Where did Cher start? I mean, it's, <laughs> that's true. So. Do, do me a favor and search Mind and see if it's Mind Power. Mind, mind Hacks is really big now with that book, Mind oh, Hacks. Mind by the Hacks, way. yeah. Mind mind hacks right there. Mind hacks brain psychology facts. Yeah, b- big stuff. Brain the book yeah. the book is doing really well. Mind hacks. Mind hacker. Mind, mind shift. shift. Do me a favor. T- take the space out between mind and shift and see if it comes up at all. There you go. So curious. My brand has has been on Facebook and YouTube and Twitter is Big Girl Poker. And oh. yeah, and and I and I think I'm like Donna underscore Blevins or something here, but try big girl poker. See if that comes up. No, I haven't used it there. Or nobody's searching for it. <laughs> so basically <laughs> what it What happened when you just put poker in, yeah? Poker, poker coach. Poker coach. There you go. That's what you need mm. under to come up. Poker coach is what you got to put in your curious your pins. Poker mindset coach and see what comes up because there is a relatively There's no poker no, mindset. Nothing comes up, huh? Poker mindset. Yeah, yes. poker mindset. So if we want to see what your competition looks like. Tom McAvoy on the left. Is a I got it. Question. That's my cat snoring in the background, so I'm just I can't hear it. <laughs> <laughs> it's purring, not snoring. It's like Southern women. We don't perspire, we glisten. <laughs> so okay. All right. Interesting. Let me see else okay so you want to have google analytics on your site as well because then you can see you can look and see what traffic's coming from pinterest and uh, she says that the pinterest traffic sometimes you can tell the exact pin that it came from but she said the app is not always really good about telling you like a certain percentage of your traffic it'll just say pinterest you know, and it won't tell you which pin it came from. But if you can find out which pin is sending you the traffic, then you know, okay, this is a pin I want to get out there some more. I want to repin it again and do some more juice on it. Um, so definitely make sure you got your Google Analytics on there. Okay, so on the pins themselves, as she said, don't use horizontal images. Use that 700 by 1200. 
avoid using script fonts, things that are hard to read. You want to look at your pens on mobile devices and see how well they show up on the mobile device because most of Pinterest traffic is coming from the mobile devices. And here's another thing that's interesting. She was showing stats of um, pens that were made out of royalty-free images don't get as much juice as the ones that whether you've taken the picture or maybe you've bought the picture. And now her theory on that is that those royalty-free pictures get used by everybody on all different kind of keywords and it's confusing Pinterest. They're like, we see this image associated with cats over here and rockets over here and balloons over here and mindset over here. So we don't know what this picture is about. So we're not going to give it any prominent exposure because we don't want to confuse our visitor. Where if you use your own images or ones that you bought, which means they haven't been used as much, most likely, then it'll is more likely to get shown. And then she suggested making two or three images per post um, so that you have multiple ones people can choose from and it's getting more exposure. When you're saying per post, what does that mean? you mean like yeah, I don't understand. post, like a blog post? Like a blog post, yeah. So each blog post would have you create multiple images, uh, pin images that they could use. So when somebody goes to pin, let me let me show you. Let's um, recipe people are good at doing it right. So I, that's why I thought let's just pull up a somebody who's doing it right. Come on. Okay, so here's a recipe. Um, I've got a pen up here. I can pin it. So, I mean, there's all kinds of images on that page, it looks like. Uh, it's not really your typical ones, though. I don't know that they've done a really good job with that, actually, amazingly enough. Oh, this is Food City. Probably not the best. It's a grocery store. Food Network, they do a better job. Okay, so let's see what they've got. Come on. <laughs> Are you on Chrome? Yeah. And you install a, a Pinterest plugin or something, whatever yeah. it's called? Right, yeah, it's a plug-in. So they've got multiple pictures loaded in for... They still don't look like Pinterest, do they? No, they, they don't. don't. They're not that great, really, are they? Haven't done that great of a job. Unless I was on a page that had multiple recipes. Yeah, they've got several on that page. I wonder if we just went to that one. This is like, that was like a category page. That's probably why. Super Bowl snacks. Okay. They also have a pen thing there we could try. I'm confused to know if you have to do something special to get that Pinterest thing to show up like a share thing if you're blogging does that make sense it would be with your like a social share app or something plug in that you put on your okay yeah they didn't have as many as i thought 
Yeah, they they just have pictures rather than yeah Pinterest images. Well, maybe we need to go <laughs> offer to do there. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Uh, funny. So based on this, every image that you use is going to be best if it at least is pen material. Right. Yeah, but not every image because you need to at least have one that'll work over on Facebook. So you need a horizontal one for Facebook and Twitter. They're not going to take that big long thing. So that's where you're back to having to create multiple pictures. If you have the paid version of Canva, they have a resize thing where you can create it one time and then resize. You're still going to have to move things around, but it saves you a little time and having to uh, just totally start over from, from scratch. Um, yeah, the pinning's not working too hot on this side. Try all recipes just out of curiosity. That's the one I'm thinking of. That's what I kept trying to think of the name of it. Oh, they've got the recipes, man. <laughs> yeah, I think they do their pins really well because that's a lot of times where I find stuff. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, haven't, I haven't had lunch either, so. <laughs> <laughs> this is looking better than the liver loaf I was going to have. <laughs> liver loaf? Yeah. Is that, is that liverwurst? It's like that brought, it's brought wiser or whatever. You know, it's in that little tube and it's a spread thing, you know. It's like, That's liverwurst. <laughs> well, I've always called it liver loaf, so. <laughs> okay, so let me try that pen since this other pen thing's not working. Hmm. Still just. Hmm. Well, normally you get multiple pictures off these sites, but they must, maybe they have one they want you to use or something. There's all those little pictures down beneath the big one. Yeah, usually it's, it gives you more to choose from. Um, I don't know if I've got a page that's got a lot of pictures on it as a problem where it would show. But. So what's the purpose? You want to give people like different views of like if you were doing a recipe. Yeah. You like, want to have different views so that if and they're all pinnable and then they all lead back to your blog or how does that work? They all lead back to your blog. It's giving the user a choice of which one they want. And so like let's say all of y'all go in and I've got three images associated with my thing. Well, Donna picks one, Joanne picks another, Carolyn picks another one. So now I've got three different pins out there floating around that could be shared out to your people and then to their people and their people that all go back to my blog post. So it's and just creating more possible blog. doorways. They all go and back they, to your blog post. Because yeah. somehow you link it to your blog post on Pinterest. Yeah. Um, let me. When you pin it from the post, doesn't it automatically link back to the post? Whatever, whatever you pinned it from? If you pin from the post, it automatically has a link. Or you can upload from your device and find an image. You know, if I wanted that one. Not that I'm going to really do that. And then I would give it a destination URL. You know, if I wanted it to go there and then I could continue and it would create a pin out of that image. You can either do it manually or when you go to, when anybody hits pin, you don't have to worry about what URL. It's automatically going to use the URL they were on when they hit the pin link. Okay, so originally, how does the pin link get linked to the picture? Like, that's what I'm not understanding. <laughs> Pinterest is smart enough to know it. If it's on this page, if it's on a page okay. and you hit pin on that page, uh, well, let me see. 
got too much stuff open. I wonder if that's what's making me slow. Let me close some of this stuff. Yeah, the bandwidth on. Oh, is it your brain brain bandwidth, or is it your computer's bandwidth? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> My brain bandwidth might be going. Who knows? Okay. Marnie, go ahead. It's hold on a second. You got Let six me get minutes. The time. Yeah, that's what I was going to tell you. One fifty-four. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So if I hit pin there, let's hope it comes up. For some reason, this little button is not wanting to work today. Okay. There you go. There's. It's giving me possible things that I could post. And when I go to pin it and I pick a board that I want to stick it in, like I could put it in my life hacks one. And I want to see that pin now. There it is, and if I click it, it automatically goes to that post that I was on. Uh, yeah, the blog post I was on, which probably I picked the wrong image for that, but you know. Um, um, Marnie, that picture, was that in a widget on your site or? Uh, it's on the sidebar over here. So is that a widget? Yeah, a, a oh yeah, it's in a widget. Sorry, okay. yeah, yeah. All right, sorry. yeah, the widget sidebar. Yep. So if I wanted to edit that though, I probably don't want it to go to that blog post. I just want it to go to start over here. I could change it, you know, and just put. So it won't go directly to that blog post. It'll just go directly to that blog. Right now it will because I changed okay. that. Okay, so it'll go to what's ever on there. Yeah, right. whatever okay. you got here. It The default is whatever page you were on when you pinned it, but I, you can override it if you wanted to. Oh, okay. So it's not inside of a post. It's on the sidebar. This particular image was. Okay. When I went to pin, it went, it found all the images on the page. So there's this picture, which is probably, it's seeing it from the featured image thing and because if I put it in as Facebook image. Uh, and then this is picking up off the sidebar and then it made up an image just based on the title. Did it oh. really? Uh -huh. oh, wow. <laughs> yeah, because I didn't do that. that was, oh. It's just created that probably because I have verified that start over now is I, I bet that's why it's done it because I've never seen it do that before. Just click on save and see what it looks like when it goes over there. Just looks like that. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. So it's taken the title since it's a verified site it's taken the title of that blog and put it the site name and the title of the blog and made a graphic out of the words yeah Interesting. well I've got to run all right uh, somebody sent me a chat but every time I try to get it it just uh, it was, it was Judy, it, Judy. Yeah. sorry to be distracting for so, she said she was sorry she was uh, on the screen a doctor asked her to do some more stuff Oh, okay. That's all right. Okay. All right, guys. See ya. All right. Bye-bye. Okay. Bye. Take care. Take care. Anything else you'd like us to know, Marnie, before you leave? Um, I, I think that's a good stopping point. That's what I pretty much had budgeted for today. And then, I mean, there's a bunch more to it, but this is the, kind of the basics to get the groundwork going for now. Then I probably ought to go to my external hard drive and pull up those several Pinterest courses that I bought and there's there have never taken. <laughs> <laughs> I, should, I should do that, don't you think? Maybe I should hire myself as the pro professional, I'll take your courses you bought, girl, and, <laughs> and actually implement what you bought. <laughs> oh, man. 
I that like might not that. be a bad job. <laughs> I, I might like that. I might have to start doing that. <laughs> how many pro, how many programs have you bought and they're just sitting there wasting money? Would you like to implement them? Hire me and I'll figure them out and implement oh, them. Oh God, I love that. That's a great <laughs> idea. Professional. You might make good money doing that. <laughs> a lot of people are frustrated with their lack of follow through. <laughs> Oh, would you like to hear something wonderful before you go? Yeah. I, I was a vendor at a health fair on Saturday. Basically, it was a, a book signing table, but we were not allowed to sell books. We weren't, weren't allowed to sell anything at the health fair. I said, okay, fine. I'll see what's going to happen. And there's a company called Access Management. They've got a, they, they are representatives of 120 uh, offices of doctors. And the the CEO's wife is opening a holistic center that goes along with her primary care. And the marketing executive, who is this beautiful young woman, came by, saw the book and said, oh, my goodness, this is exactly what we need. I'll set up an appointment with the, the doctor. And uh, I said, well, here, how shall I uh, personalize the book? And she said, well, put it to Dr. Maria. And I said, no, for you. And I gave her a book as well. You would have thought I'd given her a million bucks. I mean, it was just, <laughs> but it's just, it was astonishing because I realized it's not just to sell a book. And, and I've known it's to get it into to companies. And it's very exciting what's happening with it. Well, that's great. Way to go. <laughs> that's awesome.